First thing we're gonna do is install GoBoard Pro sealant, which is a hybrid polyether moisture curing sealant. It also functions as an adhesive. So the cartridges are 10.3 ounces. They come with a nozzle. And to open the cartridge, we need to first cut the plastic tip off. We also have a seal inside the cartridge which extends the shelf life by six months. So this seal needs to be popped. What I like to do is take a nozzle and simply pop the seal like that. And then twist the nozzle on. And I'm actually gonna take so when you're using GoBoard Pro Sealant, always have an ample supply of paper towels. So I'll just wipe this off. And then I'll cut the tip at an angle, like so, leaving. So what we want to do with the sealant, and the reason I cut it uh, this way, is we want to force the sealant into the joints, okay? So keeping about an eighth inch or 3 16th opening with an angle will help us do that. We also have, we're also going to demonstrate how to install GoBoard seam fabric today. <clears throat> so the seam fabric is a lightweight polyester non-woven point bonded. So the purpose of the seam fabric is to one, reinforce the joints, and secondly, help you install thinset mortar quicker over the sealant and enhance the bond of the thinset mortar. And again, don't worry about putting too much sealant. We don't want to be conservative here. We want to make sure these joints are watertight. And I'll do a zigzag here that's roughly three inches wide. So GoBoard Pro Sealant will skin over, depending on the climate. So remember, it's moisture curing. So the hotter it is, and the more humid it is, the faster it'll cure. The drier and the colder it is, the longer it'll take. So in a climate like Colorado, roughly 30 minutes to 45 minutes to cure. If you're somewhere in Georgia, middle of summer, it might skin over in, you know, 20 minutes. Okay, remember paper towels, always add paper towels. You wanna clean the sealant off your tools immediately. Now we're gonna put another strip of seam fabric. Uh, I'm just gonna gently gently set it here. With a clean putty knife, You don't want to soak through with the sealant. So see how I can rub it and I'm not getting anything on my gloves. So this joint's ready to tile. <laughs> 